In this chapter, we're going to talk about the video switcher and setting up your sources. Now, in a permanent control room setting, this may already be set up before the day of the production. If you're using a mobile control room, you will have to set this up every time before production. Either way, it is good to know how this works. First off, not all switchers are the same, but they do all work in a similar fashion. Some switchers, like this one here, plug directly into the back. Other switchers, like this unit here, has a specialized brain that is rack mounted in a room somewhere else. Now, some switchers will accept all sorts of cables like BNC or RCA, even HDMI. Others will only accept one type. You will need to determine which cables your sources have and whether or not you need to get cables or connectors or adapters to convert to what your switcher will accept. So when connecting your sources to your switcher, it is typical to have the cameras in first. This would be connections one, two, and three, etc. From there, it is your choice between graphics and video playback or whatever sources you have. Just make sure that your layout is simple and the sources you use most often are closest to your cameras. And this is setting up your sources.